hello and welcome to my channel so if you remember a few months back i did a video on my home binder that i put together it just came about from wanting to have some organization and peace of mind instead of having to filter through papers when it was time to find something pay something or whatever the case may be so i decided to put together a home binder system and I thought that it would be a really good idea to give you guys an update on how I've been doing with that system. So here's my home finder. I've titled it, It's Handled. I like that saying because I handle things, I get it done, it's what I do. And I just put my name at the bottom. I made this fun for me because it had to be done. I didn't want it to feel like a chore. So I just made it very um very much tailored to me and how i run my household if you have a binder it should be tailored to how you run your house so when you open up the binder i have my seasonal um checklist here and i need to change it out from winter to spring i was getting ready to say summer i'm way ahead of myself but i need to change this out to spring and i'll be doing that this week and this checklist just really helps me remember everything to do at the beginning of a new season so that I have everything that I need to clean with one, two, all the major areas in the home like the attic that I don't really go in but my husband does so it just gives me a gentle reminder so I can give my husband a reminder for some things and then for other things that I do like clean out the refrigerator do the bathroom stuff like that it's there for me and it is just it really is a godsend because it has every little thing that you can think of and it just keeps you on your toes so that's at the beginning of my binder and then my husband has his very own honeydew list it's just a daily list or a weekly list that um he is to look at and remind himself to go ahead and do however it has not been working as well because i have not placed this binder in an area where he can get to it and it be effective for him so i'm looking at changing up some things i've looked at the home systems that some people have or I should say a command center that some people have where it has the calendar, it has to-do list, it has your menu for the week, things like that. Just things that will help our household run a little bit more efficiently. I'm all about efficiency so I think I may try that. The only problem is I don't have a big area where I would like it in my kitchen because I like for the kitchen to be a nice clean area so i've been working on that and i just don't see a command center a command center fitting in to that space but we'll see and then i just love these tabs I, or these dividers i got them from staples and i have just fallen in love with the black and gold and each divider is different this one is um has a bunch of circles on it there's another one with stripes and um let's see stripes hearts circles again i think the patterns just kind of repeat themselves so it has stripes and circles and then a heart divider as well but i just love the color and also the tabs i haven't written on them because they have actual glitter and I'm just in love with that. So behind my first divider is all of my checklists, my daily cleaning checklist, things I do before I go to work, things I do when I come home. I try to do most of my things in the morning or the night before. If I have to work early the next morning, then I do a lot of things the night before. However, if I have a late morning, then I get a lot of my things done in during that time before I go to work. That way when we come home, we come home to a nice clean home and there's nothing out of order or not too many things out of order. So that's just my system and to help me keep that in line i just have a checklist that i use um i don't actually check off everything as you can see this is january and february 
and I don't have anything checked off for it. Doesn't mean it didn't get done, but again, I didn't have this binder in a place where it was accessible and, you know, just, I didn't have it. It wasn't accessible, so I didn't use it. It wasn't that, you know, I forgot about it or anything, but when I will remember it, it was like, oh, it's upstairs on my desk it's you know in the living room and I would be upstairs and it was just a bit much so I don't know I have to revamp this part of my binder because I really don't think I'll be using it as much um and then we'll this is the stripe one I call myself giving some of the dividers names but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep this or not but um this initially was named Grubhub, so it had all of my meal planning guides in here that I was using. I was trying out different ones. This being one. That I never used. <laughs> it just, I didn't like it once I got home and started really using it because I put them off at work and I'm like oh this looks nice and I'm gonna try it and I get home I'm like no I don't know what I was thinking but you know better to have and not need than need and not have so that's and what I roll with I decided to make my own this is you know very easy breakfast lunch dinner but as you guys know I've created something totally different that does cater to dinner not breakfast and lunch so much but i am working on breakfast and lunch so stay tuned for that i'm not really sure how my system is going to work but once i get it something close to i don't want to say once i have something but close to effective i will do a video showing how i do that system and how it is effective for my household but in any event i don't even use these um menus anymore because it was just too much um i was i haven't used them since i started you know paying attention to my five week rotating menu so maybe once i get breakfast and lunch in there i'll be able to write everything down but i'm just not sure just not sure. um i also have a pantry inventory freezer menu and a freezer inventory however i haven't used any of them to be honest but i will show them to you this is a pantry inventory i think that i'm just gonna create my own because i just haven't really found anything that i like that really reflects our home and our schedules and what we do on a daily basis so I think I'm just gonna create something that is just more conducive for my husband and I um, here's a freezer menu and this is for people who will do like not necessarily crock pot meals but they'll put a whole meal in a bag and put it in a freezer that way when they take it out everything is there um some people have done one pot dishes so they'll be able to you know take the dish out and just put it in a pan and cook it that way put it in a crock pot put it in an oven whatever they do um that's what that's for again i haven't graduated to that yet and i'll let you guys know when i do so the next um divider is bills 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 and it is ironic that it's on a heart divider because i don't love paying bills i don't know who does but i don't um however that's just how the cards landed for that and on here i'm not going to show it to you because i have written information in it already but I do have it to where I can track my utilities and I have all the information I need if I need to call in or log in online and do everything there. I have everything that I need to do to handle business. So that's what my utility tracker sheet is for. And 
then I also have a financial checklist which I um I have all of our bills listed out I'll show you a blank sheet so I have all the names of our bills and then um it has the due date and if it's on auto draft you put a check mark there and so what I do with this particular sheet as I pay the bill I check it off under the month that we're in so it's March let's say I call the phone company and I pay the bill then and they're on line one then I just put a check mark in March for line one that's what I do and um, then I have a second sheet that's similar to that and it's set up the same way except instead of putting a check mark I put the amount of the actual bill now this part of the binder I have been utilizing like crazy the one thing that I love about this part of my binder is that I've been able to track exactly when the heating bill goes up when the car insurance bill has added a few extra dollars i've been able to call in and say hey explain this to me because this is what's on my end let me know what you have on your end and why and if we need to rectify so everything is there plain as day and it's just been really really easy to keep up with the bills and exactly how much you know we're spending month to month so that has been great that has been the part of the binder that i've been using the absolute most and so what i plan to do is actually just have the financial part of this binder into a binder of its own because when i sit down to pay the bills and everything i use the binder that's when i i'll go get the binder so i can actually write down everything so instead of having this big one and a half inch binder I think I'm just going to get a one inch binder, maybe even a half inch binder and be able to um, have it to carry easier around the house and be able to store it away easier um, in a certain area. So that's what I plan and to do. And then throughout it, I mean, we have like miscellaneous bills, like um, hospital bills, things like that, um, you know, traffic tickets, like. It's so funny because with traffic tickets, my husband and I, we don't get traffic tickets unless it's a camera ticket, which blows my mind because I never know, you know, I don't ever remember being there, but it shows that I was there and I was, you know, going over the speed limit, but whatever. So, you know, you just have things that come up like that and that's what our miscellaneous monthly tracker is for. And then in this next section, we have like pet information, which I haven't really written anything for Mr. Rambo because um, he has a whole file. So I don't feel the need to put it in here and have the same information duplicated because he doesn't go to the doctor every single month. You know, he's not going to the groomers every single month. Like, we do his grooming, and he's just a really low-maintenance dog, and he's really, really healthy. So, I don't need to access this information as much as I thought I did or would need to when we first got him. So, I'm going to take this section out as well. And then, it has, like, a section for, like, basic medical information, which again is something that I have not needed very much of. So I'll take that out as well. And then one thing that I do like about this section is that when I pack for my husband and I, I have a checklist. Now, prior to this checklist, I've used it. This is a new sheet. We haven't gone anywhere since I've printed out a new one. But um, I have remembered so much more. And we've had such a better success rate when we travel 
by using this list. So I have absolutely loved it. And it's also helped me keep things to a minimum because I'm an overpacker. So, you know, it helps me keep things down. Oh, I see I have this. I don't need that. And I'll just and take it off my Last list. but not and least, it's just a miscellaneous section. And it's just, it has notes and everything that I need when I call um, and either make a payment and they give me a confirmation number or I call and I um, talk to, you know, AT&T for the TV, for the customer service, they'll always give me a reference number or confirmation number that they fixed whatever they said they're going to fix so that I have it in my records. That's really what this section is about. Um, again, I'm not going to show it to you because it's just loose leaf paper. It has um, information on it and, you know, it's just for what I need it for. Your section will look very different. So, again, this is my home binder. It has been great for my financial section, but everything else, it just has not been as effective as I thought it would be. Again, I don't have a strategy for how I'm really going to be able to implement the cleaning checklist in our household, but I do plan to make some changes going into this weekend. I have a lot of DIY projects coming up that I'm sure my husband is just gonna love. But anywho, I did wanna take the time to update you guys on what has been working and what hasn't been working for this home binder system. And I'm gonna update it as far as, like I said, letting you know um, I'm going to update it and then let you guys know how that update has been working. I'm going to pull that financial section. I'm going to let that be a binder in and of itself. And then I'm going to do something very different with the cleaning checklist so that each room has a list in it somewhere. I'm not sure how I'm going to store it, but I'm going to figure it out because I'm not going to carry this around or even a sheet of paper to each room to make sure that I've gotten everything that's on my list. So once I figure that out, I'll let you guys know. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Natural Housewife, Twitter at Natural Housewife, as well as Facebook like page, Natural Housewife. I look forward to speaking to you guys again, and until next time, bye.